Hi kids, welcome to your virtual classroom. This is Mansi Bosley, your mentor for physics and maths. Hope you liked the last video on upstream and downstream boats. Okay, again, this one is another interesting situation wherein we will be dealing with water tap related problems. So I had told you, I had given you an idea that there would be two taps, right? One tap would be a small tap and one tap would be a larger tap right so obviously if you see water coming out from the larger tap would be more and water coming from the smaller tap would be uh, from the less amount okay now okay just hang on we'll see the situation and then we'll solve the problem okay so the first question says a tank fills completely in two hours if both the taps are open that means the small tap and the larger tap both are open so when both are open they can fill up the tank in two hours if only one of the tap is open at a given time the smaller tap takes three hours more than the larger tap to fill the tank obviously as water coming out from the smaller tap would be less in quantity so it would take more time to fill the entire tank and as water volume of water coming out from the larger tap is more in quantity it would take less amount of time right okay now how much uh, now the situation over here says that the smaller tap is taking three hours more to fill the tank as compared to the larger tap okay how much time does each tap take to fill the tank completely? Okay, now this is the thing. Now let us see. So whatever is asked. So let's see. Let the time taken by the smaller tap. If we take the time taken by smaller tap to be x, then the time taken by larger tap would be x minus 3. Why? Because the larger tap is taking less time. Okay, so time taken by the smaller tap to fill the entire tank let it be x hours and uh, time taken by the larger tap to fill the tank completely be x minus 3 hour okay now it is also given that when both of them are running together both of them can fill the tank in two hours okay so what do we do in such situations we will consider the part of tank which is filled in one hour okay so now let's see so um, part of tank filled part of tank filled in one hour filled in one hour first by smaller tap would be one upon x right and same part of tank filled in one hour by larger tap would be one upon x minus 3 okay so when both of them are together it fills in two hours so part of tank filled in one hour when both are when both of them are open it would be one and a half part of tank filled in one hour when both are open this will be equal to half obviously if it takes two hours to complete the entire tank uh, in one hour half of the tank would be filled okay so now let us equate this now the this will okay now let us equate this mm, this will be uh, tank filled by the smaller tap in one hour plus tank filled by the larger tap in one hour equal to when both of them are there that is half so so therefore uh, let us take lcm cross multiply x minus 3 
plus x the whole upon x into x minus 3 equal to 1 upon 2. So this will be so this will be 2x minus 3 upon x square minus 3x equal to 1 upon 2 and again cross multiply so this is 2 into 2x minus 3 equal to x square minus 3x 4x 2 into 3 6 equal to x square minus 3x okay um, let's take everything to LHS so it's like minus x square plus 3x plus 4x minus 6 equal to 0 so hence the quadratic this is minus x square plus 7x minus 6 equal to 0 so hence the quadratic becomes if you multiply by minus 9 x square minus 7x plus 6 equal to 0 we know that minus 7 would be minus 6 minus 1 and minus 6 into minus 1 is plus 6 so therefore x square uh, minus 6x minus 1x plus 6 equal to 0 x x minus 6 minus 1 x minus 6 equal to 0 so your x minus 6 or x minus 1 equal to 0 so x therefore is either equal to 1 okay so the two values of x that we got is either x is equal to 1 or x is equal to 6 uh, first of all now what was x x was the time taken by the smaller tap to fill the entire tank okay if if x is equal to 1 that means time taken by the smaller tap smaller tap is taking like one hour so what was time taken by the larger tap time taken by the larger tap was equal to x minus 3 so that was 1 minus 3 which is equal to minus 2 hours is that possible no this is not possible so hence we will not consider x is equal to 1 right so now if let us take this situation if x is equal to 6 that means time taken by the smaller tap to fill the entire tank completely uh, is 6 hours so hence time taken by the larger tap to fill the entire tank only when it's open it will be 6 minus 3 which is equal to 3 hours so this is the way we will select either to take one because none of them is negative right we have to choose one so either it's one or six so if we take take both the scenarios if it's one obviously time taken by the larger type will come in negative which is not possible at all if it is six yes the time taken by the larger tap will be three hours and time taken by smaller tap is six hours so this will satisfy our given condition and we will go with this answer okay let us see one more question the next question says that again uh, in the same way there are two taps together they can fill the tank in nine gigabyte hours uh, the larger tap the tap which has a larger diameter it takes 10 hours less than the smaller one to fill the tank uh, find the time taken in which each tap can separately fill the tank in the same way what we will do let the time taken by the smaller tap be x hence time taken by the larger tap will be x minus 10 or the other way so let the time taken by smaller tap be x hours time taken by larger tap is x minus 10 so again what we'll do we'll consider part of the tank filled by the smaller tap in one hour and part of the tank filled by the larger tap in one hour so for the smaller tap it is x one upon x for the larger one it is one upon x minus one so what is the total time taken uh, when both of them are running together when both of them are running together the time taken is 9 3 by 8 if you convert 9 3 by 8 hours it becomes 75 upon 8 hours so if the entire tank is filled in 75 upon 8 hours in one hour how much amount of tank would be filled reciprocal of that so it will be 1 upon 75 upon 8 so that is 8 upon 75 so when we take this as 8 upon 75 what we'll do 
time part of tank filled by the smaller tap in 1 hour plus part of tank filled by the larger tap in 1 hour equal to part of the tank filled in 1 hour is it that's 1 upon 78 upon 8 8 upon 75 so this becomes your equation okay so again what do you do you take an lcm x minus 10 over here plus x upon x into x minus 1 8 upon 75 what with 2x minus 10 x square 8 upon 75 so when you just again cross multiply this is the scenario okay 8x square minus 230x plus 750. This is your quadratic, the required quadratic equation, right? Now, if we see, if we just factorize this, either what you can do, you can divide by the common divisor, just divide by two, and again two till it it is divisible, and uh, go for the answers. So, if I say, if I take, uh, if I do prime factorization, what do I get? Uh, we'll take eight x as common. It's minus twenty five minus thirty. So we'll take eight x as common over here. So that's x minus twenty five into eight x plus thirty equal to zero. So either x is equal to twenty five or x is equal to minus thirty upon eight. But obviously, will we be taking time taken by the smaller type? It cannot be negative because what was x? X is the time taken. Time cannot be negative. Hence, we will discard this value and we will go with twenty five. That is, time taken by the larger type. We will go with this uh, smaller pipe is twenty five, and hence time taken by the larger tap is x minus ten. So that's twenty five minus ten, fifteen hours. Okay, so smaller tap twenty five hours, larger tap fifteen hours. So this is the way you should be solving your tap related problems. Coming up next, we have another very interesting situation that is regarding speed, distance, and time. So it will involve your speed, distance, speed of the car, speed of the train, express train, passenger train, all these type of problems. Stay tuned. Thank you.